certainly, if I think of how to give a lecture, the people who jump out at me still after all these years would be Walter Lefebvre, Jonathan Spence, John Najemi. Um, three very different styles, actually, but all three of them able to just stand up there for an hour, um, in some cases with few or no notes, and just mesmerize you. Um, probably the best seminar I ever had in history was the first one I took in China, Chinese studies with Sherm Cochran. It's one of the reasons why I wound up in Chinese studies. Um, I also think of Dan Schwartz, whom I took English from as a freshman, who's taught, among other things, what I still think of as one of the most effective first classes I've ever seen. So you come in, you know, it's the first day of class, you've read nothing. You sit down and he hands out a three page or whatever it is handout, which was Poe's The Telltale Heart. And so you read the story, you can read it right there. And you realize, of course, that the narrator is absolutely nuts. Um, and basically, you know, I mean, I can now look back and say, oh, what Schwartz was introducing us to was Wayne Booth style rhetorical criticism. I, of course, didn't have that equipment then. But what he was doing was in the most quickest and most effective way possible telling us, trust the tale, not the teller. And yes, it's going to get more subtle as the year goes on, but it's going to be all unreliable narrators from here to the end. That's what we're in the business of doing here. And, and you know, I still think back at that class and think, you know, what would the historian's equivalent of that be? You know, and I'm still not quite sure. So those are all people who come to mind. I could, I could go on multiplying, but um, those are at least some of the people who I think made me realize that there were ways of thinking about stuff that just hadn't occurred to me.